welcome to my channel. In today's class, we'll continue on the lipid lecture series. In our previous video, we talked about what lipids are, the characteristics, functions of lipid classification, in which we gave two different kinds of classifications. In my second classification, lipids were actually divided into fatty acid, triglyceride or triacylglycerol. We have the phospholipid, the steroids, the typins, wax, and prostaglandins, which are actually the parts of the eicosanoids. Let's talk about the typins because in our previous video we talked about we discussed the fatty acid, triglycerides, the phospholipids, and the steroids. So in today's class we'll be talking about the typins, the wax, and the eicosanoids. What are typins? Typins are actually a diverse class of organic compound composed of isoprene units. Isoprene actually is a five carbon uh, compound, as you can see from the diagram being displayed, composed of carbon and hydrogen. Isoprene is also called 2 meter 1 3 butadiene, indicating that they have two double bond in this compound. Typins are classified based on the number of isoprene units they contain and they are classified into the monotypins, sequitypins, diatypins, tritypins, tetratypins, and polytypins. The monotypins actually are made up of two isoprene units which are commonly found in some oils of plants. Example is found in limonin in citrus oil. Sesquitypins is composed of three isoprene units, while ditypins is composed of four isoprene units. Tritypins uh, is composed of six isoprene units and tetracypins is composed of eight isoprene units. As the word implies, polytypins is composed of more than eight isoprene units. What are the functions of typins? Because of their smell, they attract pollinators. They also have therapeutic properties, including anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, as well as antioxidant effects. Typins play an essential role in plant defense. The second we are going to talk about is the wax. Wax are types of long-chain non-polar lipids. There are two types. We have the natural wax and the synthetic wax. Natural wax are esters produced from fatty acids and long-chain alcohol. The alcohol comprises from 12 to 32 carbon atoms. Example of the natural wax is actually the bee wax. The synthetic wax, unlike the natural wax, comprises of long-chain hydrocarbon lacking functional group. We know that the functional group plays a role in the hydrophilic nature of organic compound. Example of the synthetic wax actually is the common paraffin wax, which is produced from palm petroleum. It should be noted that the structure of the wax is diverse, but they commonly form long, linear, or branch chains. The ester linkage between the fatty acid and alcohol contributes to the stability and the hydrophobic nature of this molecule. The long chain hydrocarbon actually play a critical role in the hydrophobic nature. The function of wax include protective function, waterproof function, industrial application in the making of cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, and production of polishes and coatings. The last group is eicosanoids. Eicosanoids are lipids derived from arachidonic acid. Arachidonic acid are 20 carbon polyunsaturated fatty acids. 20 carbon indicates, as you can see from the structure, that the number of carbon atoms in this uh, structure is 20, and the polyunsaturated indicates that they have numerous double bonds. There are three main types of eicosanoids, namely prostaglandins, tromboxin, and leukotrienes. The prostaglandins are synthesized from arachidonic acid by the action of the cyclooxygenase, or the COS, commonly called the COS. While the thromboxins are produced from arachidonic acid through the COS pathways, the last group, the leukotriene, are actually formed from arachidonic acid through the lipo 
oxygenase pathways. The thromboxines are actually involved in blood clotting, blood constriction, promoting the platelet aggregation, which contributes to clot formation, while leukotriene plays an essential role in immune response. Lipid can also be classified into simple, which include the fat and oil and wax compound. Compound are sometimes referred to as complex lipids. They are actually composed of lipid and any other group of organic or inorganic compounds such as protein, sugar, or even phosphate group. They include the phospholipids, the glycolipid, the sphingolipids, and the lipoproteins. Another group is called the derived lipid. These derived group are actually organic molecules that result from the hydrolysis or chemical modifications of lipids. They include compounds with distinct structure and function such as the steroids or even the eicosanoids. This brings us to the end of this part 2 of lipids. In our next uh, lipid series, we'll be talking about the structure and the naming of some lipid um, groups. Thank you. Please subscribe to support this channel. Thank you.